Hi friends, today we are going to talk about uh, change document objects. Now let's take an example of a production system wherein you have, let's say, around 10,000 of users uh, in a live production system. There are around approximately 10 million master data records and might be 30 to 40 billion uh, transactional records. Assume there are a certain set of uh, users, you know, who log into the system and they have some malicious intent. They go and change certain master data records for their own benefit. And these changes are very business critical. They will impact the operations of your business. Now, what will you do in that case? How will you identify who has done these changes? So that is one use case. Now, second use case is there is a user who goes and changes these master records or transactional records for some genuine reason. Still, in that case, you need to keep track of these changes. You need to have an audit log of these business critical master data changes or transactional changes. Now, how will you achieve it is the question. Well, for this reason, SAP or any other ERP system has come up with a concept of change documents. Now let us understand these change documents. Now what are change documents? Change documents are used to track changes in your master data or transactional data. Now it is applicable to the following systems. Well, it was existing in R3. Good news is that it is existing in S4 HANA as well. Now why S4 HANA? Because it is the core you know, uh, functionality of the ERP system and that is not going to be changed. Yes, it is also existing in Salesforce. I had an opportunity to you know, log in into Salesforce system because I was working on some um integration and it, i just happened to you know see this change document objects um tables similar tables in salesforce system as well so that system also uses this concept so let us understand this concept which is there across all the erp most of the erp systems okay now to achieve this SAP has come up with a concept of change documents. Now, it is a set of objects identified by SAP, which are business critical. Over a period of time, SAP or any other ERP product has come up with a list of business critical objects, objects in the sense like master data transactions or you know uh, master data objects or transactional objects, which are critical to business of any company or customer. Now, for these business objects, for every business object, SAP has come up with one change document. And these change documents, the changes related to these uh, change document objects are logged in two tables. The first one is CDHDR. And the second one is CD pause. Now, CD HDR is the change document header table, which will track the changes at header level. And then there is CD pause table, which is the item table, which will log changes at the item level. Now, let us see what is there in the CD HDR primary key. Obviously, there has to be a change document name. So the first field will be the change document object. The second field will be followed by a unique identifier, which will uniquely identify this change document object. Now, purposely here, we have used the word unique identifier because let's assume the change document is material master. So the name will be material. The unique identifier to identify a material master will be its material number. So in that case, it will be the material number. Again, the next object might be a finance document. 
So in that case, to identify a unique identity uh, object in the uh, for a finance document, it will be a set of like company code, the document number, and the fiscal year. So that will be the unique identifier for the finance object. And the third one is the change number. Now it is a free flowing number, and it will be generated every time when you complete a logical unit of work. on a given uh, object let's say if i go and make some changes in the master data of material and i click on control s the data gives gets saved and there is one logical unit of work which is completed so for that one logical unit of work a new change number will be generated let's say if i go and edit the same record three times in a day so there will be three change numbers which will be generated and there will be three entries in cdhdr table okay now let's go to the next slide now in cd pos you have the change document object unique identifier and the change number from the header table now what uniquely identifies the multiple records in cd pos is the table name and the table key assume in a material master i first go and change the basic data which will go in mara table and uh, then i will go and do some changes uh, related to plant so it will be the marc table so there will be there are two tables which get impacted so there will be two entries in cd pos and uh, to explain this in detail i have consecutive three uh, videos you know where i have given you multiple examples so please refer to that and obviously you will have a table key also to identify which record has been changed so uh, this is just theory uh, friends and uh, i have given you practical examples let's say if i go and change a material master or might be i change a purchase order how these uh, table uh, entries get impacted i have shared that so please don't forget to keep on watching my videos see you in the uh, next video thank you bye